Hello everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Godzilla fan, Jurassic Zilla here, back at it again with another video. In this video, we have some very exciting news. You guys remember Haya, the one that's slowly starting to replace SH Monster Arts and actually be better? Yeah, they just made a Muto figure. That's right, Muto. Well anyways, I'm Jurassic Zilla, and please, please, let's get straight into this video, shall we? Just your friendly neighborhood Godzilla fan. So I was just casually going through Instagram, and then Haya Toys just posted this thing. Look at that. Look at that Muto. Get a closer look at that. Look at him. The female Muto. And this is crazy, because as you know, the Mutos don't really get a lot of figures, so the fact that Haya made a Muto figure before SH Monstarts did is insane. And it looks fantastic. The arms and legs are articulated, the paint looks awesome, and I know there's only one image to go by, but still, judging by this one image, yet again, Haya has outdone themselves. They also are making a Skull Devil figure from Kong Skull Island. And yes, it's not painted yet, but as we can tell, the mold of it looks awesome. In the tail, look at that! And they also made a Kong from Skull Island, so you can have Kong fighting the Skull Devil. And these figures all look awesome. But... But... They also... Revealed some more pictures... Of their Ghidorah <laughs> figure. And as you guys know, I am a huge fan of this Haya Ghidorah. I literally made a whole entire song about it. Hiya! I want your Hydra! Give me the Hydra! Hiya! 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 I wanna buy ya! Give me the Hydra! Hiya! And sure, the new pictures that we see aren't even painted, but still look at that sculpt. And the mouths, they actually open wide unlike the SH Monster Arts. Okay, yes, I know, this video is supposed to be about their Muto figure, okay. But before we get to the Muto, I just gotta mention how awesome this Ghidorah figure looks. Okay, I may be overhyping it a little, I'm sorry, alright. Let's get back to the Muto. Their Muto just looks awesome. Now, we only have the female Muto, and we don't actually see the male Muto. But I'm 100% sure that Haya's gonna make a male Muto at some point. We also have some new pictures of their Heat Ray Godzilla, which looks awesome, and it comes with a separate head with the eyes glowing blue. We also got a picture of their Burning Godzilla, which yet again looks a lot like the NECA Burning Godzilla, but you can tell is a lot darker. Haya is really going all out on these figures, and I am so happy, and we also have confirmation that Haya is not only going to be doing MonsterVerse figures, they're also going to be doing other Toho monsters. We could see a Haya Showa Godzilla, Haya Heisei Godzilla, Haya Mecha Godzilla 1974. There's so many other options that they're now able to do, and I am so excited to see what their next figure is going to be. And sadly, I don't own any of the Haya figures. Yikes. I kind of spent all my money at G-Fest, so I'm going to have to save up some more money so I can at least get their Godzilla and Kong, and then when those other figures come out, I'm definitely going to get them, especially that Ghidorah. I want to buy ya! Give me the Hydra, Haya! And that's going to be it for today's video. Tell me what you guys think of these new figures, and what do you think about Haya? Do you think it's going to take over SH Monsters in the future? Let me know in the comments, and as always, have a great Godzilla day. Haya, I need your Hydra.